let's do a thought experiment. Let's yes, say yes. we bump into aliens tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Do you think there's mutual agreement on the fact that there are prime numbers and there are digits of pi? If you say no, then I think Carl Sagan might disagree with you because this was a central premise of his book, Contact, that the right. universal language for communicating with extraterrestrial civilizations, different universes, mm-hmm. is mathematics, that we can all agree on the fact that the digits of pi are fixed uh-huh. and prime numbers exist. So, um, so the, the honest answer is I have doubts about that, but the view <laughs> in the book, yeah. which, is the, which is, you know, my tentative view to date, yeah. is that they'd agree about arithmetic, so they'd agree about prime numbers. Okay. They wouldn't agree with us, though, about, you know, even the axiom of infinity, necessarily. They wouldn't agree with us about the scheme of replacement or the power set axiom or the axiom of choice or the axiom of foundation. In other words, almost all of math outside of first order number theory, I think you different aliens will give you different answers and there won't be a common uh, language. And I think, by the way, I'm no Carl Sagan expert, but my guess is that, you know, he's coming from a place where there's just a lot of sociology explaining this because think about if mathematicians aren't exposed to the axioms of math as a general rule, then physicists all the more aren't right. I mean, like physics is even a further step removed from the question of what basic assumptions are we allowed to use in mathematical reasoning? And is there a pie in the sky answer to that question? And so, so it's very natural, I think, if you're, if you're trained in physics, you've only ever seen the same kinds of assumptions used. Sometimes they're even mathematically dubious. But, but, um, but, you know, the questions of set theory and logic are so far removed. I mean, for example, when people worry about the consistency of quantum field theory, they're not even worried about the consistency in the sense of the logician. That's another step removed. Yeah. They're worried in a kind of informal mathematical sense uh, about that. So, so... I don't, I, you know, I wouldn't want to reduce somebody as uh, um, brilliant as Carl Sagan to, I wouldn't want to reduce his ex, his views to sociology, but my guess is, I mean, it would be interesting to know, did, did Carl Sagan know set theory? I would think that'd be interesting. Did, had he ever taken a metallogic class? He'd ever been exposed to the variety of possibilities because it's very, I think, I, you know, had I never been exposed, had I never learned that, oh, there's a perfectly reasonable alternative to the axiom of foundation. There's a perfectly reasonable alternative to the axiom of power set. There are di- all these different set theories that I can learn to work with them. And what could it mean to say that there's one true answer to the question of, you know, whether unrestricted, uh, w- whether the sch- axiom scheme of replacement holds for all instances? I mean, so I think that a large part of this is just the sociology that we talked about before, which is, you know, this is a very Baroque area of theoretical inquiry that most people never need to, but never, more importantly, just never do get exposed to and think of, have to think about. And in this respect, again, it parallels, I think, a lot of philosophical areas like the foundations of physics. My entire life has been a lie. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If- I agree. No, uh, no. <laughs> I yeah, agree. No. It's. I don't know if you had a similar feeling, but my first class of chemistry in year eleven, it started off with the claim that everything you've learned in chemistry so far has been a lie. Like electrons oh, right. are not yeah, in a yeah. fixed orbit around the nucleus. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a whole probability electron cloud. Yeah. Even not even year eleven, like kindergarten, they teach you the sun rises in the east. Right, I feel right. like education in general starts with the foundation on a lie, and then today you walk in here and you're telling me. That two plus two might be four because we are simple men. But everything else about Euclidean geometry, or everything else, a set theory that I've learned about is subjective to a certain extent. Or, or, or you might say relative is a slightly more. Yeah, right. It's it's like geometry. Yeah. <sighs> What's the point? That's, that's the answer. <laughs> yeah. What's the point? No. <laughs> Today is the day. On camera, you're going to capture my first foray into nihilism. Like, what is the point if everything's a lie? <laughs> yeah, right, right. Let's talk about nihilism. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about you want to talk about nihilism? Uh, not particularly, but uh, but actually, well, no. I'm feeling it at the moment. Okay. 